what up youtube back with another video this is a special one i got a really special guest this is sky frank everybody sky Hi. frank she's the first daughter of jdf the green ranger and she's here i have the pleasure of talking to her and she's going to clear up some things she's going to give you answer everything you've been wondering all the power ranger fans and anybody that's just concerned about the whole jdf situation after his passing so how you doing sky um i've been it's been really rough for me obviously these past few months but definitely this past week has been draining mentally emotionally draining um like i said i'm, I'm sure you're aware of everything that's been going on and the posts mostly right. coming to the start off let's talk about you and get into your background so how old are you and where are you born and raised so i'm 24 um i'll be 25 this year um mm -hmm. i was born and raised in california cali girl yeah. all right okay so another thing like what was it like growing up being like the daughter of a legend like jason david frank and you know just take us through that like so <clears throat> like if i'm being if i'm being 100 percent honest like my dad wasn't really around like that you know growing up i remember seeing him like a few times here and there like i flew to go see him on christmas with my brothers and i was like 12 um i always like i was always proud that he was my dad you know because it was cool saying that like hey my dad's a power ranger and stuff like that but right. um he was in my life when he was married with my mom and then kind of like once he married tammy he just like disappeared and so that's kind of like why i felt so, so many things towards tammy because i was told by certain family members like hey she's the reason why he's not involved it just you know it, it never made sense to me why he just walked out on all of us but then when she came in the picture it kind of started making sense you know what i mean right. new family daughter did you get a vibe from like jdf that like he wanted to spend more time with you but like something well, was like pulling him back yeah 100 percent. like he would always tell me and my brothers like if he ever did anything for us or uh, spoke to us don't tell Tammy that was his number one thing don't tell Tammy even with my brother hey I'm gonna buy you a motorcycle I'm gonna do this but don't tell Tammy why you know because obviously she never wanted him in our lives like even as a kid and and anything that she says about me or my brothers like we were children at the time you know what I mean now we're all adults but when all of this was going on we were kids like right. so, so you hot, like like when like give me a time period like when all this was going down how old were you and like how old was your brothers so like, uh, um, I know that like I remember, I remember going to the um a house in Valencia when with my dad and Tammy. This was when like Jenna was just born. Um, oh. I was young. I re I remember Tammy for some reason. Ever since we were kids, like she hated Jacob, and I know that she did not like me, but she hated Jacob. Me, she disliked me. Like, mm. and I believe that it was because I was my dad's first daughter. And she didn't want another little girl in the picture. You know, I think that she just wanted everything to be about Jenna, like his daughter and his priority. Like, I think that she was always intimidated by the fact that he had another daughter and there was another woman, a little girl, soon to be a woman in his life. You know what I mean? Right. So, kind of like didn't want you having any of his attention and like. Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember there was this one time um, I, when I went to go visit my dad in Texas, he took us to the outlet and he was like, you know, buying my brother's watches. And then he took me to Juicy Couture. I didn't know what Juicy Couture was. So he told me to go pick a like outfit. I was this is the thing when we went down for Christmas, I was like 12. Um, he had me go pick out an outfit and I had got these like pink Juicy Couture pants. But at the time they were like expensive, like a couple hundred dollars for a pants. And I remember um, I put it on the counter and he looked at me like, go get the matching jacket. And Tammy like made this face where she was just like, like looked at him uh, and he kind of he kind of gave her a look like I'm gonna get my daughter this juicy store. <laughs> so that was one thing. And then like I just remember like her putting all these things on the counter, uh, like uh, cup, perfumes and Jenna's picking out all this stuff. But my dad got me one outfit, you know. But it was always an issue, like right, with her. right, like a big deal just because yeah, you got like, something. Things like in the back of my head, you know, like these are things that always stuck with me throughout all the years yeah that's so it was kind of from the jump like tension between you and tammy just because she felt like intimidated by you like and that's what I, I mean that's what i believe you know and 
I, this is this is my thing. I understand that there is a lot of fans that want qu- that want answers and that have questions and that are putting their own narrative about things and making their own assumptions. But I just want to say this, that at the end of the night, they could talk online, either good about me or bad about me or make their own narrative, like I said, but they go to sleep good every night. Me, I don't. This is something that I, I wake up and go to sleep to thinking about that it's affected my life. I lost my father. That's enough. You know, like I'm affected by that every day. So, and I don't, you know, it's like, and then to take it this far as into like people thinking like, oh, I don't know what people think, you know, like she, she's drama, she's this and that. Like I, I, people have like a completely different view of me because this is not what I wanted. You know, like I never wanted it to be like a social media war or this is not the type of attention. This is not the type of attention that I wanted. This is not how I wanted to this is not what I wanted, especially for my dad. You know what I mean? So. And that, and that's why I wanted to talk to you. Cause like your story is so interesting because you stayed out of the limelight. You know, you could have like, like you could have just ran with the green ranger thing. And be like, Hey everybody, I'm, I'm the green rangers daughter. And you like so many people commented and was like, Oh, I didn't even know you had another daughter. I didn't even know you had sons. And it's like, and I know, want you to know, like, how bad that hurts seeing those comments and how bad that makes me and my brothers feel like it's, it's a feeling that I can't even like put into words. You know what I mean? Like feeling like, ugh, I don't know, like I can't even put it into words. I'm trying, but you're the first family of JDF, you know, it's just like for the whole com- power Rangers community to kind of like be just shocked. Like what, you know, I, I can only imagine. Like, I almost, hurts. I almost felt like in a way, like me and my brother's feelings didn't matter. Like everybody was just, Oh, Tammy, Jenna, Tammy, Jenna, Tammy, Jenna. But it was like, what about Jacob Hunter and sky? What about us? Like we lost our dad too. And with all this stuff going online and people making all these YouTube videos and making up conclusions and thinking that they know everything. Yes. We had our family differences. Yes, of course we did. Like, but every time me and my dad would see each other again or we would talk and he would come to California and see me, it was tears. We would cry. Like, we would just break down crying. And it's even hard for me to still believe that he's not here anymore because, like, I really don't care about all this social media being for proving myself. Like, my dad's gone and that's something that I'm never going to have. You know what I mean? Like, I'm never going to have that chance to, like, talk to him again. And people thinking like they know things, that's what hurts me the most. You know what I mean? Like, how yeah. could you stay online that a father doesn't love her daughter or Tammy saying, oh, she wasn't, oh, yeah, but Jason didn't leave them anything because he wasn't close to them. My dad loved us very much. My dad loved me very much. I, We might have not have been seeing each other every day or talking every day because we had our differences. I was angry at him. I was mad with my dad. You know, like I had every right to be. And that's personal things that I've been through in my childhood that he knew about that I I just not that I held a grudge, but I was angry. I was hurt. I just like in my head, I was like, do you love me? Like, what did I do? Like, is it my fault? But then it's like, how can it be a kid's fault that your father walks out and marries another one? Like, these are things that I think every child goes through when your parents have a divorce and they move on and have a new family. You know, you start thinking like, is it my fault? You know, is it like, what did I do? Right. What What was the first thing that kind of like messed up y'all relationship? Who between me and me and my dad? You, you and Tammy. Me and Tammy never had a relationship. Ever. Nah, like I only remember seeing her like when I was in the house of Valencia and she was, she was never nice to me. Like she was never nice to me. Like I said, she always had, I don't know what it was with me. Like, again, I was a kid, but. um, And then what about, what about your brothers, uh, Jacob and Hunter? How did she like interact with them? What was that like? The the thing was, is that this is one something I want to clarify too. That she, Hunter was apparently like her favorite. She loved Hunter when he was a kid. She did not like me and Jacob. Like now, now, now now that we're talking about Hunter, I want to get to the whole funeral thing because Okay. I had posted 
I had posted and said like, okay, you know what? You did not invite my brothers to the funeral. Um, she had went back and said, you know what? Jacob threatened my life. He did this and that in the past, whatever. That's why I didn't want him to come, which is in, in, my, in my, okay, look, all I have to say is that no matter what happened in the past, that doesn't give you the right to take away a son's right to go say his last goodbyes to his father. Because that's okay, going to scar his life, you not, know? Not, not, not to stop you, I just want you to also, it was a lot of comments that were saying, well, why didn't Hunter and Jacob, why didn't they just pop up at the funeral? Like, it's their dad. If it was me, I would have just popped up because I got every right to go to my dad's funeral. But yeah. I want you to explain for the fans well, and people out there a, why they uh, they weren't invited. So the simple answer to that is Tammy ran the funeral. She had a guest list. So um, I believe I sent you a screenshot of Tammy's friend telling me, hey, Sky, what's your name? So I could put you on the guest list. And then my cousin as well that had flew down. Everybody that was attending my dad's funeral was on a guest list and they had to go through the door and their name had to be on the list. So even if I said, hey, Jacob, um, and this is another thing. Hey, Jacob, you know what? F Tammy, come to the funeral. I know you want to see dad. Hey, guess what that means? I'm not going to be able to attend my own father's funeral. You know, wow. like I feel like I had to kiss Tammy. I had to pretend and all these like be with her in Texas. It was hard because like, Things that she told me before I even came to Texas didn't add up. You know, she, the first thing she called me on a phone call, she said, the sky, I didn't kill your dad. The first thing she said, I didn't kill your dad. And then she goes into, yeah, on, on my wow. dad's on dad's grave, she said, on my dad's everything. She said that. And then she goes into saying, um, you know, we were, we, she just started, Tammy can never like tell the story the correct way. Like she's just jumping, 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 jumping. So she's like, Oh, where she's all like sounding all where, you know, we were drinking. And um, now this is another thing before I get into that. My dad was sober for 10 years. She told me he recently been drinking for four months prior to him passing away. So now, now in, in your heart of hearts, do you believe that? I don't know what I believe anymore. I don't I don't know what I believe anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. There's only one person that knows what happened in that hotel room. And that's Tammy. Just from what she told me, like they were drinking and then he was taking ambient. So in my head, I thought my dad had overdosed on sleeping pills or maybe like went to sleep and like hit his head. You know, that's what I'm thinking, but I'm in the airport on my way to Texas. And then I get, my friend sends me the TMZ article, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm at the airport balling crying. When I made it to Texas, I sat down with Tammy. I said, Tammy, did my dad? And she goes, she looks up at me and goes, I thought you knew that. And I just break down crying Right then and there, I wanted to be like, you lying ass. You told me something different on the phone. But then guess what would happen if I did that? Get you out my man. house. Right. Get out my house. I was staying at my dad's house. Get out my house. Jenna, oh, don't talk to my mom like that. Get out my house. Matter of fact, don't come to the funeral. You're you're going to do this. And then in their head, they're going to paint a whole different picture of me that I'm this and I'm that. If I was to sit there and go off on Tammy, like, hey, you right. told me something different then they probably would have uninvited me from the funeral and I wouldn't have been able to attend my father. The only thing that was going through my mind, I wanted to see my dad one last time and say my goodbyes, cry, hug, hold, kiss, and whatever. I, I wanted to see my dad. And I, ha I had the honor, you know, I had the chance of doing that. But like people just keep like saying these things and painting this picture. Like I felt so alone in Texas. I felt like it was me against Tammy and all their family. I had nobody. I had to fly my cousin, my mom's sister's daughter. I had to fly her out from Cali just so she could sit by me at the funeral. And at first, Tammy's, um, Tammy's, what was it? Tammy's aunt was like basically saying like, oh, she, my cousin couldn't sit next to me in the funeral. She had to sit behind me. But she was letting Jenna's friend that Jenna just met that was in town for two, like a few days, sit in the front row with the family. Like you don't even, this girl flew out to Texas to come visit my sister. And then while she was visiting my sister, my dad had passed away. Wow. So, but you get, she had, she got to sit in the front row. So it was, but my cousin ended up sitting in the front row because my sister's boyfriend felt bad and he gave up his seat for my cousin. He was like, you know what, Sky, I shouldn't be sitting in the front. Your cousin should be sitting in the front. I'm going to go sit in the back. So my sister's boyfriend did that for me.
also like you didn't get to speak at the funeral and I, I wanted you to touch on that like why you weren't why you didn't get to speak at the funeral and i'm gonna um i don't know why but i'm gonna say this that i know that francis did uh my dad's old assistant came out and said oh sky could have spoke i just i just called her recently today and i said hey look I, I see you got an interview coming out tomorrow what did you like you know i hope you're not oh i'm not talking crap about you whatever she's she apparently is is saying her side of the funeral i was with tammy days and days i don't know how long but i was with i had flew out there like a week before the funeral so me and Tammy had all this time together before the funeral. I spoke with Tammy one-on-one -on -one outside when we were smoking a cigarette. Hey, who's, you know, can I, do you think I could speak at my dad's funeral? Who's going to speak? And she's like, uh, 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 babe, there's, there's not going to be enough time. We only have an hour service. It's only me, Sam and Tony speaking. And she was like, um, she's like, I have to get everything together tonight. Like all the, uh, the videos and pictures and music and, and, basically from that point it was a no like I couldn't speak it was only in my head it was only and I was at that point I wanted to speak but if I knew Jenna was gonna speak I would have been like oh hell no like let me speak too like right I didn't right. know Jenna was gonna speak I thought it was only Tammy Tony and Sam so when the funeral came and Tammy's turn to go she brings Jenna up with her and I said the first thing I thought I said you knew what you were doing. Like, you knew you were going to pull Jenna. She knew what she was doing. So let me tell you something even more funnier. After the funeral, I sit down with Tammy, right? And out of nowhere, Tammy goes, Sky, I just, I just want to say, I had no idea Jenna was going to speak. I didn't do that on purpose. But the way her body language was telling me that, it's like, why did you feel the need to approach me and tell me that after the funeral? Because it was it was in the back yeah. of your head. It was that guilt, guilty conscious. Like, I know yeah. she feels some type of way. Let me say something real quick. You know, yeah, that's. But yeah, yeah, no, I didn't get a chance. And I was not asked. I asked her if I could speak and I was told I couldn't. So that's the bottom line truth. And like I said, this is my father I'm talking about. I would if I could go back, like I would now want to press my issue so I could speak for my father at his funeral like you know like my father's not here anymore so what do I gain from lying about this the only thing I'm gaining is losing sleep and being more depressed like I'm putting myself in the ringer by standing up for myself if that makes any sense so and and to be clear this all started with like Tammy saying that you weren't close to JDF and you you know, and this is a money thing. You're trying to get money. I want you to touch on that a little bit. Like, so this is where all this started. It had nothing to do with money or anything. I don't have, I'm not obviously uh, apparently on the trust. I, we're not getting anything like it's, it's, it had to do with this. Um, I had texted Tony, the man that spoke at my dad's funeral. And I had said, um, you know, this is when he that dude, Henry was messaging me, sending me all these documents, basically, putting it in my head that I needed to get a lawyer and look over things. So I had texted Tony like, yo, I don't, I had said this. I don't trust this bitch. I had talked, I was talking about Tammy and I was, this is a personal text message. Like it's just me and him. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm telling him all these things. How I don't trust Tammy, how I don't trust what's going on with the paperwork that I want to speak to my dad's attorney. Cause I'm 24 years old. Why haven't I heard anything yet? Right. I'm his first daughter. I'm entitled to know these things and I'm a grown woman. Why haven't anybody reached out to me yet? Tammy's not telling me anything. She's she's telling Tony to tell me what kind what kind of like you should approach me as a woman and tell me these things. Why are you going through a second person to relay the message to me when you have my phone number and we text? Right. So exactly. something's weird. Like in my head, something's off. So I had to tell Tony, you know, let me get the my dad's uh attorney's number so I could talk to him myself. He goes, okay, I'll ask Tammy. Next thing you know, I'm on a road trip back home from New Year's. I fall asleep. I wake up. Jenna texts in my phone. Boom. Oh, we're on the we're on the wheel, and he didn't leave you guys anything. And I know that might hurt your feelings, but my mom doesn't have to for you guys. And it was the way that she was texting me, and she was like, "Oh, you're burning your bridges, little mama." Like, first of all, who you think you are saying, "Like, girl, you would not hood." Calm down. Second, <laughs> like, <laughs> I was pissed. I was like, "You're not about that life. Stop it. You are not about that life. Like, don't come at." You want to come at me? I was already upset 
because she said, don't call my mom a bitch. So Tony had sent her the screenshots of me calling her mom a bitch, saying that I wanted my dad's attorney's number. So he stirred up the whole pot. Right. I was never going to bring this to ever going to bring this to social media ever. But Tony wants to be messy. Then, t- then Jenna wants to text me. I was like, I snapped. I was like, you know what? Since you guys want to sit here and say you don't have to for us in the, the, the way you're talking to me, it's like you're belittling, you're belittling me. So I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to show all the fans how you really talk to me behind closed doors, that you're not this sweet little angel. And right. I'm going to on my brothers and on my behalf. Like, that's how this all started. Cause, so. Cause I saw that screenshot where Tammy was like, "All I care about is making sure Jenna's good." And the vibe I got from it was kind of cold because it's like, "Come on, he's got three other kids, and all you care about is making sure Jenna's straight." This, this, this is the thing that uh, I want people to understand too, and why I'm so upset about the whole um, trust and the whale thing. Because Tammy had Tony reach out to me. This is before the beef. And to be clear, um, Tony is who for, for people? That Tony know. is one of my dad's friends. Okay. That my dad would talk major shit about. But <laughs> when my dad passed away, he was his best friend, apparently, right? So anyways, Tony had, um, uh, Tammy had called Tony. Tony called me and said, Sky, it looks like you and your brothers are in the will. I need you to send your ID, your name, your address. To, to my phone so I could send it to Tammy so she could give it to the attorney. So Tammy put it in our heads that we're on a wheel. So we're thinking we're getting a, a letter. I had the, I had posted all the screenshots of Tony saying, you'll be get, uh, receiving a letter of your dad's estates. Why would you call me and tell me that we're on a wheel? I told both of my brothers. So now like we're, we're like, first of all, we're happy because we're like, damn, dad really did love us. Like he left us a, he left us something like he didn't forget about us. Like I told right. you so, like he loved me, you know, it was that type of thing. Like, it wasn't about money. It was like, oh, my dad would, really did. Like he loved us, even though we, we had our issues, you know? And right. um, more like, like, like a final gift, you know? Yeah. Like, like a final gift. Like, Hey, you know what I mean? And then um, what happened was, is that the Henry guy sent me these documents when weeks went by and the trust was out. Tammy took the information I sent her just to list it as we were Jason's kids. But Jenna was getting everything. And she didn't tell me any of that. I found out through someone else sending me it. So wow. that's why. Now do you see why I'm pissed? Why I'm mad? Why I'm talking online? Yeah, that's I'm, cool. The whole time, me and my brothers are waiting for a, a letter in the mail. And the whole time, you used me. To give you my brothers and my addresses, IDs, social security numbers, so you could list it on the trust under children. You lied to me. You told me that we were a part of a will. And that's why you needed our information so you could give it to the attorney. I should have known better. This is why no, uh, the James. attorney should have called me and asked me for the information. Something was off already. What do you feel like you need to do moving forward? Like just as far as like, the state and just like even just the situation with Tammy are you just kind of like fed up with everything kind of like uh, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you I have no I have no desire to ever have a relationship with Tammy or Jenna I don't personally and I, I see people like oh well, that's your half sister they have hurt me so much even before my dad had passed away that I'm just I'm I, I don't want it in my life like, I don't want people in my life that don't really love me or care for me because you would never tell me these hurtful things, especially after my father passed away, looking me in my eyes, telling me dad hated you and dad doesn't even love you. Who would say that? Why would you make me feel like that? Right. And especially I had to bury my dad. Like, I just, I don't, they're not my family to me. You know, if that, if I'm just being 100% honest, like I don't want that in my life. Um. I don't trust them. You know, it's like, I shouldn't feel that way about my sister or I should never have to feel that way. Like I wouldn't, I like when it comes to my brothers, like I know my brothers would never backstab me or, or do that. We fight like we all, all, yeah, of course we're brothers, sisters, like they get on my nerves and I get on their nerves. We always argue sometimes, but right. they never fought like Jenna did. Exactly. Cause on like in the comment section, some people was like, well, they were like wondering why you and Hunter's not close 
or maybe you and Jacob wasn't close and they were trying to read into that and build like kind of like a narrative. And I was like, you know, me and Jacob, me and Jacob are super close. We just, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's my older brother. Of course we argue. I'm his little sister. I know him all the time, but he lived. Jacob, with- Jacob's the oldest, right? He's the oldest. Like we lived together last year. So like, I don't know what people, that's what I'm saying. People just talk. And then like, I saw some YouTuber pull up old messages from 2011 of my brother Hunter talking crap about me. Like, he was mad over something else. Like that was 2011. How, like that was what, 12 years ago. Right. Like, how did you pull up a post from 12 years ago when I just put screenshots of me talking to my brother last month, exactly. 12 years, one month ago. Come and, on. and siblings squabble all the time. You know, it's yeah, like, of course, like, I mean, to be honest, when I saw him saying that sky and I was like, I started laughing. I was like, dang, cause you know, what's crazy. I never knew he posted that. <laughs> <yesterday>. <laughs> I found out about the post 12 years later. <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's crazy. So how did you feel about Jacob having to kind of get online and prove that, hey, I had a relationship with my dad. He used to send me stuff, but Tammy didn't like that. And... It hurt me because that whole entire night, I had to deal with my brother's emotions personally, besides of what I posted online. Um, it was, it was, it was heartbreaking to, I, cause, okay. When it comes to me and my brothers, I feel like I'm the one that's like the fighter. I'm the one that stands up. I'm the one that could take pain. Like don't hurt my brothers, hurt me. Right. So I'm hurting. That's fine. But I just don't want to see the people I love hurting. I've always been that way. And my heart right. is just like, so when I had to see my brother go through that, it just broke my heart. Like it, it, I felt really, really bad for my brother and for, for, for everybody involved. Um, and I also want to talk about like Tammy saying like, oh, he didn't, he didn't really mess with y'all like that, blah, blah, blah. I want you to talk about like all the things that your dad did for you and your brothers, because I feel like that kind of dispels that whole rumor that, and also that like a lot of stuff he did for y'all, it had to be a secret. You know, a lot of people yeah. out there go through that with, with families. And tell me about that a little bit. Well, I think maybe was this in um, probably like two years ago or a little over. Yeah, I have to get the exact date, but like probably like two years ago, my dad had um, I had went out to Texas to go see him and I haven't seen him in a while. I actually saw Tammy out there, too, um, but I had. um uh, my dad when I left like my dad had gave me like because I had I didn't I was homeless I didn't have a place to live and stuff so my dad had helped me get a place like and like my dad did come back and help me out like you know and um so talk about I want you to talk about like how uh Jacob was online trying to prove like yo I had a relationship with my dad uh Sky had a relationship with our dad. He used to send us stuff, buy us stuff, but we had to keep it secret from Tammy cuz I don't feel like I don't feel like that's her place to speak on that. Because for one, um the relationship I have with my father is something only me and my father know. That's not for Tammy to know and including Jacob and Hunter. The relationship my dad had with them, that's only between them. You know what I mean? So it's just like it's it doesn't it's just not fair that somebody that evil would come out and make you know like she knew what she was doing when she made that post like she wanted to hurt our feelings like she wanted us to read that she wanted me to see that she wanted me to 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 probably fold like you know she right yeah do you think your dad was like in an abusive relationship with Tammy as far as like, because it, it seemed like uh, his his sons was kind of alluding to maybe like some abuse, like Tammy would hit him and Tammy would do this. And he was kind of almost scared of Tammy. Do you think he was scared of Tammy? 100%. Right. And I remember my dad telling my brother that he was afraid to divorce her because she was going to take everything. And then also, how did you feel about getting served like your dad got served divorce papers at a comic-con i just found that out recently like like uh, this week like i was like blown away by like dang that's that's cold like i i don't follow up 
before all this. I didn't follow up on Tammy and my dad. I had no idea she served him divorce papers at a con. Like, I had absolutely no idea. So when somebody said that, I was like, is this, like, fake news or real news? Like, did this exactly. happen? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I had really to happened. fact check myself. I was I was looking like, can you, can I was asking the fans like, can y'all confirm this? Did this really happen? And they're like, Wait, yeah, it really, it really video? happened. Is there a recording of it? Nah, I haven't. Unless maybe I haven't seen it online. It surfaced somewhere, but it's just a lot of people that was actually at that Comic Con was like, I swear on everything that happened. I'm like, see right there, that should show you what type of woman she is. For you to go and serve my dad divorce papers in front of all of his fans to to embarrass him and belittle him should show you what type of woman she is and what type of intentions that she truly had. It was to embarrass my dad. It was to make him feel... Things like that, if you loved my father and respected him, you would have done that in private. Exactly. Like, you would have done... There's no... There's no if and... There's no... It, like... You would have done that in private. Do you kind of feel like people should just stay out your business a little bit? You know, how, I mean, do, you, how do you feel like that? I've never been in that situation where like everybody has something to say. Everybody's kind of some but, people positive, you know some negative. Though? I can't sit there and say, stay out my business when I'm posting my business. Facts. That's true. That's true. So, but it's like, I would just respect it if people would just listen and not put their two cents in when they don't know anything they don't know facts or like that's what i would want is people to just simply hear me out and know that i'm not trying to you know like i'm not the bad guy here like i didn't do anything wrong i just buried my father and then got lied to by this woman and then now i'm posting about it now i'm this i'm that i'm that what? I don't get it. Like, I didn't do anything. Like, I'm still grieving the loss of my father, you know, while trying to make sure my brother doesn't do anything to himself. Like, this is this is destroying me. This is destroying my brother. Like, I'm more worried about I'm more worried about my brother's mental health right now than anything. Like, he right. just told me last night, he's like, Sky, like, this is making me like, you know, I'm not going to repeat it, but and that broke my heart. I was like, do you want me to stop? Like, I won't, you know, at, the, at this at this point, I'm just, I'm trying to find sense in all this. And what I mean by all this is like, why this happened to my dad. And it's, it's so fresh, you know, this is something so new and I'm not okay. And I won't be okay for a while, but I just don't think that beefing on the internet is going to help me heal anytime sooner. Right. So I just wanted to like, say my part and tell piece. my speak my piece because I had a really hard childhood and so did my brothers. You know, my mom tried the best that she can. It was I had a really hard life, like a really hard, hard life. Like things that people can even imagine a a young girl to a teenager going through. So you know, I just want people to understand that me and my brothers are hurt souls and deep down inside there's still that little kid in us that just wants to be heard because we never were hurt and we're just hurt and we're trying to find sense of all this and jenna and tammy's not the only ones that's that's hurting you know and there's there's two sides to every story and then there's the truth so i just i just want to thank you for coming on here and speaking your piece i really do i I appreciate you choosing me as a person, as a small YouTuber, they say, hey, I want to do this. So, you know, I really appreciate that. That's love. Yeah, I got okay. you. All right. So before we get out of here, I just want to let you talk about your new song you got coming out and let the fans know because you've been getting a lot of love online. People want to get to know you. They want to know everything about you. What's your socials? Where they can where can they find you at? So um I really only use Instagram. So my Instagram is Royal Sky Official. And that's Royal S K Y E Official. And yes, I am excited because I am releasing a song for my father. And um I'm just I'm super excited about that. That's gonna be my tribute for him. They can't wait. I can't wait to hear it. I, me either. I'm excited. They Thank gotta you. check you out. You're really talented. And thank you again for giving me the opportunity to talk to you and to hear your story. Yeah, I appreciate you having me as well. And although we didn't cover everything, I feel like what I said 
it just should give the fans enough to just understand that all I want is to mourn my father in peace at this point. And to the fans, I love you guys. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been supporting me and my brothers and everybody that sent their love and condolences um, for my father. And again, um, I hope everybody has a good new year and let's put the past behind us and try to live the rest of the year in, you know, happiness and peace. That's that's what's up. up. That's what's up. Peace, love, and positivity, you know? Yeah, peace, love, and positivity. <laughs> Probably talk again. You never know. It might be a part two. We, we got to keep, you know, we got to keep track of you and see what you're keep, up to. We got to keep the fans updated. Frank. We got to keep the fans updated. So, yeah. So, this is Sky Frank, first daughter of the Green Ranger, JDF, and we're signing out. Bye. Peace. Bye.